Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Hello, welcome. Welcome back. I said give me a kiss kiss. Welcome back to Royal Goose. Give me a kiss kiss. Welcome to Latif. Queen Latifah. Welcome to the Dreamweaver's oh. young There aren't that many women dragons. Chasing nasty's minions in this world. You must expect the unexpected and prepare for what is not there. It's a goddamn sausage fest in the dragon world, dude. It is. Oh my god. I, I didn't realize that until now. I was like, hmm. The only females around here are the fairies. Have we met a girl dragon? Nope. Nothing but dudes. I guess they just... Maybe they're non-sexed and they just have male voices. <laughs> I guess so. I don't see a schlong. I mean, well, I don't see one on they, Spyro either. And they do lay eggs and they're magical, so maybe they're just like, ah, eh, I want a kid. <laughs> <laughs> um... Oh, oh, anyways. You need to give me a kiss kiss. Fuck off. Okay, fine. Eat um, my snot. Um. <laughs> what are we fucking talking about? Yeah, no, uh, that, that's one thing I like about Spyro, too. Uh, there's a there's a new... there's One of the main characters is a girl. Her name's Elora. Yeah. Yep, she's cool. She's like a... She's like a Horse fawn. lady thing? She's a fawn. Yeah, I remember she was like some anthropomorphic fucking... Animal. <laughs> they even address that. <laughs> Bye, baby. They even address that when Spyro first meets really? her. He's like, "Are you some kind of deer person?" <laughs> and she's like, "I'm a fawn, you dork." And he's like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> um, okay, I'm just gonna confess this. I have a crush on Alora. She is freaking cute. Yeah, I guess that's not too different, you know, with all your obsession with the cartoon. Don't say phony. I didn't say pony, I said don't, cartoon characters. Don't say it. I didn't. I know you're thinking it. You said it. Yeah, I'm thinking I it. I didn't smile. say it. Yeah, but I didn't say it. Uh, you said it. My, oh, fuck. My obsession with cartoon characters. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, your, yeah. Your I, love of cartoon characters. My infatuation yeah. with them. <laughs> you're like, oh my god, she's so hot. I bang those fucking colors. It, it's not like it's not, it's not not like that with Elora. It's just more like she has a cute voice. Mm-hmm. You're like, I love to have sex with deers, and she has a cute voice. Yeah, exactly. It's a perfect match. Exactly. If I were a fawn, I would t Wait, no, fawns are only girls, right? Uh, yes. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I actually don't know. I know it's a baby, right? Uh, you know what? This subject will be to be continued when Spyro 2 begins. TB Dizzle? Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I can quite describe it. I don't think she's your perfect match, though. <laughs> we could do better. We could do better. <laughs> What's that? Uh, what, what do you want, fairy? What the hell? I'm here to show James what a real woman is like. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, I'm just freeing the fairy. Thing. He just didn't do anything about that. He was just like, eh. What the fuck? Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Is it a... Whee! Nice, okay. Alright. Sick, dude. Hey, baby! Maduda! Mudada! Mudada! Ooh! Fairies are always on your side, Spyro. Fairies uh, are always fuck? on your side, Spyro, I think is what he said. I got We're playing with our game volume really low so it doesn't get picked up in the mic. I got a really weird vibe from that one. Hey, Spyro. I'm he hosting has... Slutfest 98 at my house this year. Would you like to join? It was because it... just his face and the way he held that doll and... Did you get a weird vibe from him? Nah. I did. I don't. <laughs> just like, what are you doing to that doll, man? It's just his little buddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> oh, you hey, think dude. that's weird? Of all the things you've talked about, like, Vore, you've talked about fucking... Helicopter penises. Helicopter penises <laughs> and shit, and you're like, Oh, look at that, there's a fucking dragon in a, a fantasy game, and he has a doll? What's next? <laughs> Self-driving cars? <laughs> I don't know. So your first instincts aren't always correct. Oh, no, I know. It's okay. um, <laughs> dude, so did you watch the football game last, uh, that... Oh, on Thanksgiving. How was your Thanksgiving, dude? Gay. Was it? Yeah, it was hot as fuck. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean that in a positive way. Like, the old version of gay. Like cool. Like, happy, giddy. Cool, alright, nice. Gay as fuck. Nice. What about you? Yeah, mine was solid. We actually, uh, me and uh, my mom and stepdad, we watched uh, the first Fantastic Beasts movie. Mmm. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, you told me that. Did you like it? Yeah, it was good. Sick. I enjoyed it. Ah, uh, you burned a marble. It's it's no Harry Potter, but I nah. I the, the second one is way better. I I always forget how. Uh, yeah, it's funny that you like the second one better because that one has like a really low score on Rotten I Tomatoes. Know. But I, I think it's cool that you like it better because yeah, it's like. Yeah, I was like, what the hell? You're not conforming to the. Hillbilly mainstream. retards who are like, well, this movie is actually worse because um I don't even know why. Um um uh we're gonna rate it bad. Um this uh, this movie isn't um social justice warrior enough for me. Um well um, I, I was gonna say it's just cool that you don't have the same opinion as the majority, but um, okay, yeah, that too. Just, um we're the majority. Um 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 um, um Elliot's kind of a hipster. Um, um 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 um. I was just gonna say like. A, I, I just, I, I forgot how much I love the world of Harry Potter. I forgot yeah. how cool it is. Yeah, I like all the Harry Potter drugs. It's it's just, like, all the all the characters. I, I, I just love how the world of Harry Potter, the wizard world, it mirrors our own world. <laughs> but it's also, like... Fuck me. It mirrors our world in a lot of ways. Like, there's prejudice, there's struggles for power, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But then there's all these cool magical elements that are just so interesting and cool. It mirrors our way in the fact that there are humans in the movies and the books and it just feels oh, like we're a... humans and it just seems like humans have things in common with humans. Elliot, <laughs> is this another I'm 14 and this is deep <laughs> No, thing? no, no, it's not. Ah, oh, Spyro, thanks. Cool horn. Will get you to Put it up my butt, dude. <laughs> See where it takes you. Wow, that guy's got a badass design. Yeah, he does. Alright, um, anyways, what I, I was gonna say. Was hey, gonna don't fucking slap me! He's gonna slap you in the Little face. Bitch. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna try and slap you in the face audibly, like, so that the mic could actually pick. I don't know if the mic picks that up. I just slapped myself in the face. There you go. You can slap yourself in the face. Slap but me not get, you. Your, get your nuts punched. <laughs> Actually, you know, in all seriousness, I know this is going completely off tangent from uh, talking about Harry Potter. I imagine if if you and I ever got into a fight, I think there's a pretty good chance you would win. I'm a pretty scrappy, motherfucker. Well, uh, well, I mean, I was just gonna say because you you're just you're more muscly than me. Yeah. So there's that. Yeah, I mean, I, I also do eat Doritos. <laughs> what? Yeah, you know how that goes. <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Did you ever like wrestle and fight when you were a kid? Um, I was. Uh, Did I miss something here? Well, see, I didn't grow up with any brothers or male... Yeah, I didn't grow up with any brothers. Or male cousins. Mm, I and, and, grow, well, I had a male cousin, but we didn't hang out, like, all the time. I mean, all my all of my male cousins, mm -hmm. all two of them, they're, yeah. like... They're, like, 16 or 17. Okay. So, they were, like, really young mm -hmm. when I was a kid, so... My sister and I would roughhouse. Yeah, I, well, I'd roughhouse with my sister, too. Yeah, but my sister was, like, almost... 10 years older than me. So she was like so twice she was, your size. Yeah, like huge compared to me, right? <laughs> she could like throw me across the room if she wanted to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, I had, I like, uh, I had some friends and we'd like fight and stuff for, for fun. Not like, um, not actually hurt each other, but like, you know, wrestle and shit, like kid shit. Um, oh yeah, you did that at S's house, right? Oh, way before. I'm talking like little kid. Didn't you have like a fight club or something at S's house? <laughs> yeah, sometimes. <laughs> that was for fun too, though. It wasn't like. Wasn't it like boxing? Okay. Like we'd put on boxing gloves yeah, and smack each other. Yeah, boxing gloves and sparring gear, and then we just beat the shit out of each other. <laughs> was it like hardcore? What are you doing? I I figure. Why are you you'll running see, in a circle? You'll see. Because I'm trying to figure out what the fuck I have to do. It's kind of confusing. I figured it out though. Okay. You'll see. You have to go off this ramp. Don't glide. You have to keep your momentum going. Watch, right here. Hit this, go left, down this ramp. Damn, that's Keep tricky. going to that. <laughs> Fuck me. See, that's not very straightforward. No, dude, that's really tricky. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Fuck. We good? Oh, no, we still got a little time. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, I mean, um, I was thinking, like, elementary school and stuff. We'd beat each other up and whatnot. <laughs> like, for fun, for fun. No one would actually get really hurt. I got my tooth knocked out when I was boxing once for fun. Oh, damn. Nah, it didn't really hurt. I was just, I cried about it. I was like in fourth grade maybe because I thought it meant the tooth fairy wouldn't come and I wouldn't get money. Oh, okay. So I cried so, about that. Oh, okay. You cried not because of pain, but nah. because of the tooth fairy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Didn't really even hurt that much. I just like, I got knocked in the jaw and I was like, that felt weird. And then I um, realized I got my tooth. My tooth came out. Yeah, I was freaking out. Wait, wait, was it one of your baby teeth? Yeah. 
Okay, good. Yeah, baby tooth. If it was one of your adult tooth. Oh, I'd probably teeth. be flipping shit. Yeah, that would be very... <laughs> yeah. Nope. It's funny. Thank you for releasing me. Yep, so I, I was at my friend's house who lived pretty close to me, maybe like a half a mile max. Mm -hmm. And I just ran home after... Like, we spent, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes searching for the tooth, and then... I ran home and I was like crying and I was like, ah, I'm not gonna get money from the tooth fairy. <laughs> How much money did the tooth fairy ever give you? I don't know, a dollar maybe. A dollar, damn, yeah. that's a lot. A, a dollar? Yeah. A dollar? Yeah, because generally, like people just get that she normally gives like a nickel or a dime or something. The fuck are you talking about? Compared to that, that's a lot. What? <laughs> yes. I feel like a dollar is pretty normal. Uh. I could be totally wrong. Because that's okay. my experience. Well, clearly, you're just a privileged white kid who... Damn straight. Who I was. has parents who spoiled you your entire yeah. life. Therefore, as an adult, you can't make it in life. Very and true, very honestly, true. On, honestly, yes. I'm just saying all of this because I'm insecure. You're reflecting on yourself. Yes, well, when I, I hear, when I hear that somebody else mentions that they grew up with a lot of money and they're fortunate enough to have that... I get really insecure because I didn't grow up in yeah, a family with yeah, a lot of money. Yeah. Then I take my rage yeah. out on you. Oh, yeah. No, I get that get that yep <laughs> next time on royal goobs bitches <laughs>